I had some leftover footage from the Ironman World Champs that I didn't end up using while I was out there. So here is a video of some very fast bikes, some of them with water inside. Warning, this video contains extremely short socks and one really long seat post. Can we wear your bike? Ooh, go on then. Oh, I don't even know what average weight is. 10? I like how you're struggling. With one arm. Oh, my noodly arms. <laughs> and then wait, 9.61. Oh, that's not bad. It scores. So we have a Trek Speed concept in a lovely blue fade with matching parkour wheels, 55-42, speed pay pedals, the saddle it came with, uh, watch shop extensions, some Kogel bearings in the wheels and in the headsets, hydration and fuel to carry in. Actually, I don't actually put any in this one. That's just, it's actually more aero with the bottle in there. So everything's mega aero. Yeah. Do you think bike weight matters at all on the course? No. It's not more, here. not definitely not here. It's more about being as strong as you can and as aero as you can in the wind. And they're not, like there's one steep bit where you are probably will get out of the saddle and well on the, on the hoods. But apart from that, it will just be about strength and staying as aero as you can, especially if it's windy. 9.6 is a good start, but I think putting my fuel on there, it will definitely crank it up a little bit. But if you're not hydrated, then you're going to lose this race. <laughs> I think we're going to have to get Amy in shot for scale. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's a lot of seat posts. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Can we weigh your bike? I got almost up truth, yeah. Keep holding. 10.79. Uh, it's an Orbea Ordu uh, with the Aaron wheels and uh, yeah, rotor uh, chain ring. And the biggest uh, seat posts? Biggest in the world? seat posts you can get, biggest frame you can get. <laughs> Uh, biggest watts you can get as well. <laughs> Easy, a recipe for success. Exactly. <laughs> Good luck in the race. Thank you. Think about like the next generation of people are going to be so good on camera because they've just grown up with like YouTube and cameras and TVs. You're quite good on camera. I just, that was my report card at school was Carl talks too much. Can we weigh your bike? We can. It's a Canyon Speed Max CFR in medium. I've actually got no idea what uh, weight it'll be. Right it's now it's 1.45 <laughs> kilos. This is great marketing. 9.77. So you get two hill climbing bikes for one Try bike. Easy. I might just do that actually. We can both do the triathlon. We can tandem hill climb bikes. <laughs> yeah, Sounds sweet. good. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a Canyon CFR. I was uh, pretty lucky enough to get the new colorway, uh, the candy red that just got delivered yesterday. Fully kitted out for triathlon. So we have like uh, this thing where you can pull the water into at the aid stations, which comes out here on the hose, obviously. We have a storage box for gels and the top tube we have a uh, toolbox around the side here um, yeah so it's all fully ready to go for triathlon and optimized for triathlon I guess yeah well, Kira can we wear your bike so this is the Villier Rave SLR this is actually a gravel bike but I got to oh no slipping I got to Kona and realized that 8.26 kilos I got to Kona and realized that gravel tires on the Queen K were absolutely shocking I was getting dropped by triathletes on this anyway. That's so. outrageous. Here we are, road tires on a gravel bike. It looks kind of weird. It's like... The one Gappy. Gappy, yeah. <laughs> With this bike, Francis, we have some special extra features. We've got the road pedals, which yeah. are power pedals. We've got the GoPro mount, which doesn't really fit because of these aero bars. And we also have the hammerhead mount, which has a special aerodynamic <laughs> electrical tape to hold it on because speed is everything. Yeah, that's my bike. Laura, can we wear your bike? You can indeed. Yes. This is like it's like a nervous moment, isn't it? It's like I get so one of those. Yeah. What do you think it will weigh? Oh god, I don't know. Everybody gets anxious, including me know. with my noodly arms. Ready? Ten point one six. Ten point one six. Does that fit in the scale? I'm not going to say anything because <laughs> we're not going to affect the race. Yeah. You have to tune into the video for the results. To see the results. <laughs> oh god, now I'm nervous. I would be more nervous about this than the. In the race. <laughs> the race, I know, that's it. This, yeah. is, this is the one everybody this wants to win. Yeah, exactly. This is the main competition of the weekend. <laughs> Do you think bike weight matters? Um, I think potentially to some extent, depending on the course and the terrain, but ultimately I reckon it's how the rider can handle and ride the bike and be together with all the equipment so they are 
not fighting it but with the bike and controlling it and yeah what they can do with numbers and power and equipment that is probably more important. Hey Doc, now we've ridden up a volcano, can we weigh your bike? I've got to lift it out of the back again now. And you've got to lift it up to weigh it. <laughs> it's really heavy. heavy. So this is a Argon 18 E117 Tri, but it's been pimped out a little bit, so hopefully not too heavy. 10.2. Not bad. Let's get that off and do it again. <laughs> oh, that is really heavy. <laughs> 9.53. That's bad. <laughs> How is that so heavy? What the hell? Final question. Yeah. Do you think bike weight matters for Ironman? For Ironman, no. For climbing up a volcano, yes. Can we weigh your bike, Amy? Yeah, we may weigh my bike. <laughs> 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 you seem tired, I don't know why. You got a sniffy nose. <laughs> Can we do this again, please? It's one text only, sorry. Call me a bad moment. <laughs> My bike is a Canyon Ultimate CFSL 8.0. 7.84. Woo! It's basically a cheat code right up there. Get in. <laughs>